Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to fix the SharePoint error that prevents you from opening a file. First, we'll re-add the account. Then we'll open the file using the correct app and file type. We'll add the site to our trusted zone. And finally, we'll try to repair the file. If you can't open a file in SharePoint, there could be an authentication issue. To check that, click your name at the top, or click account on the left menu. In the account page, click the switch account link. This should open a list of accounts you can sign in with. You can choose to switch to an account that has access to the SharePoint site where the file is located. Or, click sign in with a different account, and re-enter your credentials in the sign in box. If re-adding or switching your account doesn't work, hit manage account instead. This will take you to your Microsoft account page. You may be asked to sign in to access the page. Once the page is loaded, head down and click sign out everywhere. Then hit OK to confirm. If you still can't open the SharePoint file, try clearing your cached credentials. To do that, type credential into the Windows search bar. Then click to open Credential Manager. Once open, click the Windows Credentials tab. There, head down to Generic Credentials. Select any and all credentials that relate to Microsoft 365. And then hit Remove at the bottom. When the dialog box appears, just hit Yes to confirm. When you're done, restart your app, and try to open the file again. Incompatibility is also a common cause of SharePoint being unable to open a file. But there are a few things you can do to resolve that. Firstly, try using a free file converter such as the one on screen. There, simply select your file. Then choose from a long list of file types. And then hit Convert. Alternatively, if you're using the 2003 version of Microsoft Office, you can download the compatibility pack from CNET. The links for both these websites are in the description. Also, it's important to make sure you're using the correct application to open the file. To check that, we'll download the file and open it with a particular app. Start by opening the site where the file is located. And then head to Documents on the left menu. There, locate the file. Click the three dots. And select Download from the pop-up menu. Now open File Explorer and locate the file you just downloaded. Right-click the file. And then select Open with from the pop-up. If you're unsure of which application to use, check the link in the description for a list of common Microsoft file types and their associated applications. The following file types are unsupported in Excel and PowerPoint, which includes Excel Chart and Microsoft Works files. You may also get the SharePoint error when you're trying to access a site that isn't in your trusted zone. To fix that, open the SharePoint site where the file you're trying to open is located. Then copy the URL. Next, type Internet Options into your Windows search bar, and hit Open. Now go to the Security tab. Go to Trusted Zones. Click the Sites button. Then paste your URL into the text box, and hit Add. Corruption can sometimes occur during the save process, and may result in SharePoint being unable to open the file. To fix that, download the file from SharePoint, then open the associated application. In this example, we've downloaded a spreadsheet, so we'll open Excel in the desktop. Here, click on Open on the left. Then select Browse. Locate your file and select it. Then, instead of opening the file, Click the small down arrow next to Open, and select Open and Repair from the options. A dialog box will then appear, where you can choose to repair the file or extract data. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.